Right then boys and girls, I have just sprayed all my super boxes, so I've got four that have been made up there, so I had to mask around the top and bottom so uh, I didn't get spray on the inside, which I was trying to avoid. Um, just sprayed them one good coat with the Graco cordless 390. And they do look a treat. Might have to take them in soon because it's a bit windy out here. As you can see, look at the bubbles lying around that I've just filled my bucket up to clean the sprayer out with. So yeah, looking all right. Just sprayed up. And then I'd got uh, two more supers that had not been made up. So I just sprayed those take the ends off because obviously that's where they join up didn't want to spray that but um, yeah look pretty good I think pretty good they should be uh, just a job I mean not everyone can spray them so if you can't spray them just brush and roll them a couple of coats but I'm gonna have to take them in short there because it's a bit windy just got to clean my sprayer out now. Happy days, but yeah. Look well to do. <sighs> Look well soaking wet, needless to say, but... Apparently you've got to paint the outside, at least, because the sun can degrade the uh, polystyrene, whatever it's called, but yeah. Just got to clean my sprayer out. Happy days, jobs are good. It would have took me a lot longer brush and roll up two coats. It took me hours and hours and hours. About 15 minutes to clean the sprayer out and about half an hour less just to spray them. But yeah, looking good, looking good. Right then, there's the supers all stacked on nicely onto the um, B box barn, as I would say. So I've got four supers on there, painted on the outside only. I've got two more supers, uh, flat pack, they've not been fixed together yet. Um, and then you've got the feeder and the lid. Uh, when I get my bees in, in, I think it's about a month or two, um, obviously them supers won't go on. I'll just put the feeder on top of the, uh, on top of the hive there. And get them fed until they build up uh, the inside of all the uh, frames the 18 inch brood frames but yeah and that's what they look like but yeah not bad look all right well so i've got two more i'm just leaving them flat pack for now but it looks pretty good doesn't it so if you're just a backyard beekeeper and you just want two or three hives um that's ideal because that's just going to last you a lifetime that well i bet you get a good few years out of that box without painting it uh and the supers when you've harvested your honey you can store them supers in your shed or something like that can't you but that's the way forward if you've not watched the build of that bee uh that bee box barn um check that video out it's absolutely amazing uh, got some good footage coming off that with an internal camera so that's worth a watch but yeah that there it is looking pretty good but i definitely advise you building one of these boxes or a couple of them i am going to build another one for my bees in the shed um but it probably be next year by the time i build that we'll have to see I'm going to transfer them all over then. But yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Pretty bloody good. There it is. So I hope you've enjoyed the content of the video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And you don't have to spray them boxes. Uh, they they do paint up with brush and roller. A um, couple of coats, two or three coats of acrylic emulsion. 
um, the paint up just fine. Just that I've got a sprayer, so I thought I'd spray my. Uh, and it takes me about 15 minutes to clean the sprayer out, but yeah. Yeah, not bad. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys.